the tea? What's 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 the tea? Hello, hello everyone. I am the Water Bear and welcome back to the Water Bear's Tea. In this video, we're just talking straight energy, okay? Um, I am interested to see what is going on in the sky and, and you know, what, what, where are we being directed right now? Because there's so much shifting energy, there's so much going on, and I really am feeling it pretty deep. And so, I wanted to pull cards. I wanted to get, you know, more understanding. That's my whole thing. I love finding out what's really going on, okay? Um, if you checked out already, I already made an IGTV talking about this energy um, from a more astrological perspective of what I feel like is going on. We got a Mars, I'm sorry, we got a Mercury retrograde finishing up, Neptune retrograde finishing up, Mars has now moved into Scorpio, Scorpio season finishing up. So there's a lot of like things ending and things beginning, okay? Um, and so you could be feeling that as well. But I really felt the need to just tap into the cards. Um, and just get a message from spirit, okay? Just to get some more awareness. And, you know, I feel like maybe you guys want a message. There's something going on for you. And so maybe this will bring some clarity for you guys, okay? Again, I'm always here if you want a personal session and something more um, directly for you. Because this is a general message. So anybody who watches this, this is kind of, I'm tapping in what we're all going through. Um, but again, if you need something more specific for you or to see what the, what the planets are doing for you, I'm always here. My website is below. Now, let me let you know, Mercury Retrograde has been playing with your girl, okay? So, my website is currently down. I was receiving messages that my site was expiring, but they went to my junk email, and I did not know what was going on. And so, um, a couple of days ago, I found out that my website was down, so I have to completely rebuild my website, and so that takes time. Okay, so if you want a service, you want to know what they are, um, I offer lots of astrology services, tarot services, um, spiritual counseling, so many different things. Um, and so to know more about that, how that can affect you and the benefits of all that, you can hit me up and I can send you pictures of my services until my website is finished. Okay. Crazy, crazy, crazy things going on. I also going to try to make this reading as quick as possible because the sun, as you can see, is almost down and it's getting a little chilly. Okay. Um, but I wanted to be outside making this video cause you know, that's what I do. Um, and so, yeah, let's get into it, my love. So what I'm going to start with is some oracle energy. I just want to see, this is going to give me a theme, okay? Like, what what is the general energy? What are we all kind of dealing with right now? So spirit, for the highest good of all, I want to tap in. See what we got going on in the collective. What are we looking for now? So the daydream card came out. So I feel like as we are shedding a lot of the past, there's this movement. There's this push forward. And as I said, shedding, got cleansed and detoxify on the bottom of the deck there. But as that's happening, it's not the only thing happening. We're not just shedding, shedding, shedding. We're also opening ourselves up to what can come in. Okay. This is also telling me that this is more of an isolated time. People could be wanting to do things more um, by themselves or needing more solitary time. Um, if you've noticed at all what's going on in my life, kind of with the surroundings, I'm taking a lot of solitary time this year. It's crazy. I thought I was going to be able to take. Um, I wanted to take this year to do lots of trips around and, and just travel, um, but it's ending up being a very healing time for me, extremely healing, um, and all of that comes through isolation. You know, I'm able to really get in touch with my intuition, my energy, because a lot of the external distractions and things have been removed, okay? And so this has been a major, major time of healing and exploration for me. Um, and I can go all into my solar return chart of why all this is happening and all these things. But that's coming up. Okay, a lot of tea has been coming to me this year um, through astrology. And, and the, just the way my life has gone this year has been very, very destined, faded. And like ex I can exactly point it out. Like major events I can literally see in my chart. It's insane. And so I also can see that it's ending soon and there's newness coming in. Um, and so once that happens, I, it's going to kind of be my testimony because it's changed my entire life this year. So I will be sharing that with you guys. Um, but until then, you know, I just kind of want to bring that up. But the second energy coming in, well, let me finish the daydream. So, there, you know, this year has been amazing for me to dream of the future, to tap in truly with what's going on because I've had more time in isolation. 
Okay. Um, I also want to point out these birds are living their life here. Hello, guys. I think that's a cardinal there. I'm not sure, though. Can't really tell with the sun. Hope it is. No. But anyways, notice the incense here. You see these in the back? Showing, releasing, and clearing of negative energy as you are focusing on self. Okay, so this is what we could be doing as well. Clearing things away, taking more time, you know, isolated time where you need to kind of your space. Excuse me. Um, you can be a little bit more distant because you're more internally focused. And the next card that came out is ground yourself. Okay, so Spirit's asking us to, and again, notice, she is alone. Okay, um, Spirit's asking us to, um, you know, Tap in with, with nature as well. To get grounded within ourselves. Okay, I love being outside in nature because it naturally grounds you. My feet are currently in the grass. Okay, um, just the air itself is so so cleansing, especially if you're near salt water. Um, so cleansing for your aura, but it just reminds you of the stillness of life. It gets you back in touch with yourself, um, and so it's really great in that way. Um, this is also saying ground all these new beliefs and all these new things that we've been learning. Okay. Um, I'm hearing legacy as well, that there's something that, um, you know, you could be learning about your legacy, learning about, you know, things you've inherited from ancestors or learning about what you want to do. You could be literally have been daydreaming of parts of your legacy. I literally have, you know, this major dream, major, major dream that, I, that I'm going to accomplish in my life. Um, it's my main path, my main plan. And all of the things you're seeing now are kind of getting me there. Um, and I've learned that and I've been able to develop that and grow passionate about this plan um, because of all the daydreaming I've done this year, all of the grounding I've done within myself this year to know myself more, know what, what I'm here for, okay? Notice the bottom of the deck now is perfect timing, okay? So there's been a lot of faded events happening for all of us, um, but it's all been getting us in the exact perfect place, okay? And then notice as well, if timing has been off for you, know that or timing has been an issue, you're waiting for things to occur, that everything is happening in the exact moment, okay? It can be frustrating at times, I know for a fact, okay? I've been waiting for a lot of things to occur, occur in my life, but as I have been waiting, such faded things have been occurring that have let me know that I needed to be waiting at that time. Even today, like, Mercury Retrograde has been playing games, and I was trying to take a shower, you know, I always listen to music in the shower, because that's just, you know, what it is, and my keyboard, I couldn't, the music wasn't working. The like little, you know, you can press them up and down. It just showed like an X. And I was like, what is going on? Why can't I listen to my music? But when I was in the shower, I was able to process so many things and get a lot of things put together. And then when I got out of the shower, the music was working again. So clearly that was meant, you know, I was frustrated at the time. Like, dang, what's going on? Should I take my shower now? Should I figure out this? But I was like, you know what, bump it. I'll just not use music. It's okay. And I gained so much clarity. Okay. And that's just a small example, but it's showing this perfect timing that's going in. Let me get one more theme card spirit before I do uh, my general pull. What else do, do we have? The ocean. I remember I talked about the ocean water clearing, okay? This is telling me uh, tapping into the flow. I'm hearing the flow and I'm seeing waves like moving almost like down like a river right now. Um, so just seeing, you know, follow the flow, follow what's going on, okay? Um, it's a big time of release and surrender right now, okay? We're finishing up Scorpio season, which is all about power and control and so where there could be tests now of you know where you don't have as much control and, and, and you are limited but it's so that you can see how to empower yourself within limitation okay um this is also saying there could be trips i saw that in this week's energy with lots there could be planning of trips or people taking trips this week but getting near the ocean okay but again also the ocean is so so amazing for clearing okay and if you're not near the ocean there's been so many things like when i was um, at the previous place i was in there was a lot of dense energy and so i made a little spray bottle and i couldn't even um i, I was not allowed to burn sage or incense at all so i made a spray bottle filled it with some florida water and salt okay um if i had more you know things I would have used as well, but that's all I had at the moment. And salt is such an amazing purifier. It pulls out, you know, so many things from yourself. If you eat a lot of salty food, you'll be so dehydrated, but salt cleanses, okay? And so by putting salt in Florida water and in, you know, my little water spray, I was able to spray and clear my energy, keep my energy cleared. If you don't even have Florida water, you could just use salt water, literally. It is the ocean, okay? Um, and set your intention with it because it's all intention okay um even you can just you set your intention to clear the space and that happens okay but these are ways i kind of got pulled to help to, to speak on that um because that does help with clearing and releasing of energy 
okay? Even being near water, okay? Literally when I was taking a shower the other day, I was just watching how the water just drained on down. There was no resistance, you know? And, it, and that kind of stuff is here to help us understand the spiritual and how to, how to grow closer to love, closer to creator, whatever you believe in, okay? And that's what life is. We have this life as a physical example of the spiritual, you get what I'm saying? Um, it's, people, you know, think it's backwards, you know, we're living this life and, and not a lot of people even believe in the spiritual, that kind of thing. But I, I, I know that spiritual comes first. You get what I'm saying? The things you're dealing with in your life are because of something spiritual you need to learn or you haven't learned. Okay. So, um, the earth, you know, the things we see on earth are examples. You know what I'm saying? Seeing a bird could, can bring in different understanding for you, bring in messages. You get what I'm saying? Watching the water flow is going to help you understand about flowing in your own life. Okay. So it's all about the internal. So that's what I'm getting with the Oracle energy, my love. I'm going to end the reading with one more card for us as an advice card. But I'm just seeing that, you know, notice all three of these cards are isolated. They're all alone. Okay. And kind of withdrawn. The, the, the focuses are very different. They're all kind of thinking about something. You know what I'm saying? So that could be where we're all at. Right? Now, let me see. Ooh, this one wanted to come out before I even started the reading. Um, the Eight of Cups. Okay, so going on. It's, it's so much. This is another card travel and moving. But it's saying that this time there's so much things we are releasing. Mainly emotional things that we've been holding in. Subconscious things. In my dream post, so many people talked about um, and comment it back, letting me know like so much subconscious work has been going on. So many things have been that were once repressed are coming up in dreams. So many things like that. Okay, and so this is showing that as well. This is also showing a choice being made where we're wanting something new and leaving the old, in search of something new and leaving the old. Notice I always talk about this with the eight of cups. These cups are fine. You know what I'm saying? In the five of cups, you have cups toppled over he's crying over them these cups are he even stacked them beautifully he might have a virgo rising you know what i'm saying um and so there's nothing wrong with these cups but he knows that these no longer resonate with him they're not bringing him any more you know lessons they're not they're not in alignment with him anymore so he has now left them and is moving on to something else okay this is also talking about emotional boundaries placing boundaries at this time because notice it's kind of like a boundary of these cups between us and him Okay, and so that's what I'm getting now. It's like there's been a lot of things as well that before we couldn't go on this new journey. We couldn't go on this new exploration internally. We couldn't I experience new things because there was so many external distractions. There's so many people coming at us or so many situations that kept us blocked or kept us busy. And so now we've placed those here or this could even be in a relationship. Hey, these are certain things, certain boundaries in my life that I don't want you to come past. Okay, and now that your your energy is more focused within yourself and not so much on the scattered energy around, you're able to focus on where you want to go in life. Okay, so that's coming in now. So now let's get the general. Oh my God. Okay, I guess it's just going to be kind of a stream of consciousness reading and not a straight pull because the cards are just flipping out and I'm getting calls to talk about them individually. Okay, Ten of Pentacles coming in. Really amazing energy. This number one just talks about inheritance. It talks about... Um, sudden money coming in inheriting some money but it but it's long term okay this is like long term satisfaction what is that noise somebody's like revving up a car and it's not working this is long term satisfaction this is long term um, money coming in this is feeling like everything around is exactly how you want it um, and so I guess maybe this is where we're going you know what I'm saying this is where we're headed to is we're leaving these situations it looks like he's walking towards this new city this new situation these are new people so please stop oh, it's not working um, okay it's just Mercury retrograde playing games I'm just going to continue but it's throwing me off a little bit because I'm, I'm tapping in right now Anyways, um, and so this is, this is, you know, help from elders as well. Um, this is also just, I'm seeing like a full culmination, a full, um, like the story, you can put a period on your, on your story, you get what I'm saying? I've been waiting to put one on mine, you know, moving to something new. Um, and so this is that energy. It's like, we're all moving into something new, but there needs to be this completion we've been reaching for, okay? And what I always feel is, when you are fully yourself, because our life is made for us to be fully us, you get what I'm saying? Our life path, like all the gifts we have, and all the gifts we're, we're um, you know, blessed with as we're born, you know, speaking has always been something with me, my mind, um, dance, this kind of thing, creativity, okay, I've always been, that's been, I can tell that's my gift, okay, that's what I'm here to do. 
but society everything they do kind of teaches you not to do you you get what i'm saying not to believe in yourself not to see yourself not to trust yourself not to follow your own intuition not to follow your gifts you know you're always oh blue bird just like zoom by not to do your own thing but notice look at spirit with the messages and i just picked up birds they're doing their own thing you get what i'm saying all other animals aren't doing they're doing what they're gifted at you get what i'm saying because that gives you your path so when you're not satisfied in your life it means that something's off in your alignment you get what i'm saying um even when i'm i may not have all that i'm looking for even if i'm tapped into my own energy and i feel whole within myself i feel amazing you get what i'm saying um you know there's been situations this year where i had to let go of certain relationships and it's been tough but I've, it's gotten me closer within myself and more aligned to myself, so I felt I haven't missed it. You get what I'm saying? I feel so much more free, so much more my, yeah. me. You get what I'm saying? And that's how you, the only way to get here. People are like, how do you get more financial success? I want more money. How, money is just energy. You get what I'm saying? Money is a physical, a physical manifestation of your energy, your value. Okay? How much are you in yourself? How much do you value yourself? You get what I'm saying? And more than just that, how much are you in alignment with yourself because you are your own currency you get what i'm saying and spirit has it where if you're fully 100 percent doing you you get 100 percent out of life okay that's the main that's the main main okay um that's why i love being here because it, it's i love helping people tap into the fullness of themselves even that's the main thing with astrology there's so many hidden aspects of myself i didn't know or understand or wasn't able to key point until i could see my chart expanded upon you know what I'm saying? And really dive into it. I'm still diving even more into my own chart, okay? And gaining more understanding about myself. And so, um, th 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 this is the whole purpose of this. When we had to let go of so many burdens to now move him, notice he's moving alone. It's just him, which is the satisfaction, okay? And notice the bottom of the deck now, the six of wands. Celebration coming in, celebration victory from you being you, okay? And notice the coloring here. Okay, same person, okay? And so now, Spirit, what other message do you have for the collective? So now we've been having this balancing act with the lovers coming in, okay? There's been, this could also be talking about relationships and balancing relationships, but it, there were so many options, okay? So many, you know, so much confusion, so much fog around how to find, oops, how to seek balance within yourself and others, Okay, and I'm feeling like there's a more and more, more coming for us. So what does that mean, Spirit? And notice the cards just flipping over. Look at that. We've been having to shift our beliefs. Okay, the Hierophant coming in. Okay, and so there's been certain, this could be rigid beliefs from the past, certain things, you know, religiously you were told, certain things, um, certain patterns you have. And now it's about shifting up those patterns and those beliefs. The Hierophant card is ruled by Taurus. Okay, and notice what energy we're still in. The full moon in Taurus is energy. So... And that energy is shedding now. All about your beliefs, all about what you value, all about being grounded in yourself and in, in your rules and your morals. You get what I'm saying? And so this could be the main issue now. There could be you know confusion in trying to balance things out because we're trying to stay connected to old beliefs, okay? Um, and old situations, okay? And so spirit saying, or even now, you know, this could be redefining our beliefs in our situations and coming up with new ones, okay? But there's a need need to put some of these options down. And maybe this is what this is showing. Look at all these cups here. But the, the main advice we have is setting them down. You get what I'm saying? And so it's like, you know, this has been the main focus now. It's like, okay, in our relationships and within ourselves, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. I've noticed this a lot as well in our, in our society. A lot more feminine energy okay, has been suppressed in the feminine. I'm not saying women and men, okay, because I feel I have a lot of feminine energy, okay? But there's been a suppression of the feminine, not the feminine in general, okay, being truly all the way feminine, truly trusting your intuition, truly trusting your emotions, honoring your emotions and not repressing them and, oh, I don't want to feel that right now or, you know, as soon as you feel something, it's like, how can I get get rid of this, okay? But actually listening to your emotions, what guidance they have for you, okay? Patience and pause, that's one thing that's been hard for me. I have my south node in the 10th house of career, success, and, like, drive, okay? So growing up, and that's how, you know, your childhood is your south node as well. So growing up, that that's all I heard. It's like, make sure you're working. What are you doing? What are you doing? Even if I was sitting, like, growing up, if I was sitting just kind of, like, having fun, my mother or anybody would be like, 
get up, do something constructive. You're not even doing anything. What are you doing with your, with your life? Focus on something, study. Like even over the summer, we had, me and my sister had to do science projects and, and we had to read books outside of the books from school because my family always wanted us to be doing something and being productive, okay? And be, me and my sister have a lot of 10th house energy, okay? Showing kind of that, that um, sorry, the email's coming up and causing drama. And that's just aggravating because the email, no, no new email came in. It just popped up and caused issues, okay? Um, which is like, you can just see resistance all up through my, my <laughs> readings, all up through my life, okay? Um, because as I get more light, it's just like more darkness is cast and I have to just keep, keep pushing through. But anyways, so it was all about working, working, working. And so now when I'm at a still place, when I'm at a place of you know, I don't know what to do or, or how do I get to this next level? I think I have to work very hard to get there. That's no. Now I'm realizing the, the blessings that came to my life, the things that were truly on my path came to me. You know what I'm saying? As I was chilling. Okay. More feminine. My, both my Venus and my Mars are in water signs about receptivity. Okay. Um, and so, you know, that's what I love about astrology. It's taught me so much about my planets and what that means, you know, and, um, you know, how to work with that energy and what, what works best for me, okay? And so now I'm learning, you know, with all this more embracing the feminine with this North Node in Cancer we've been having since last year, this time last year, actually, how to just pause and, and let things be attracted to me, how to grow me, and then I'll attract better things. You get what I'm saying? Like a flower, okay? The fl you don't see flowers up and walking around trying to get pollinated, no. Flowers focus on themselves, blooming, looking beautiful, sending out the beautiful scent of beautiful aroma. Then you have the masculine bee who comes and pollinates. You get what I'm saying? So the feminine is being repressed in men and women, okay? But also the masculine is being repressed in the feminine and overexerted in the masculine, okay? Masculine energy feels like they have to constantly keep doing, 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 right? Feminine energy feels like they are just stuck in both. They, they do too much, it's a problem. You get what I'm saying? And if they don't do anything, it's a problem. So they're just kind of, feminine energy is all effed up, okay? Which is a lot of the reason why there's so much changing right now and so much movement to kind of re-embrace the divine feminine. Because we got to get back into balance, okay? Um, I'm seeing as well in partnerships, there's a lot of women, okay, in straight relationships, okay, um, that I'm seeing now that there's a lot of, like, relationship breakups or difficulty because... The women felt like they had to, to behave in a certain way, overly submissive in some way. And the men felt like they had to be overly masculine or overly, you know, and so that just, it's not, it's not realistic. Okay, you got men that are more feminine, which is, no, there's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't mean you're, you know, homosexual at all. There, there's a lot of homosexual men that are hella masculine, okay, but our society is just, we're going to get there. Okay, I feel like this is why I, I'm part of why I'm here to help explain, look, we got to get deeper into past this to what it looks like. Okay, there's lots of women that have lots of masculine energy that need men that are more receptive, that are more nurturing. You get what I'm saying? And there's lots of men that are more nurturing and receptive that need to not be with another nurturing person, but be with somebody who can help them get things going. You get what I'm saying? It's not about sexuality. Okay, it's about energy matching. Okay, and yes, at times it is about sexuality, but you get what I'm saying. Okay. So getting past all these old school rules that have caused hella confusion, okay? Because notice he's speaking up here. People are watching. This is what's happening, okay? Prior to now, it was about disempowering the collective, okay? So that the main leaders could be in power. You know what I'm saying, okay? If nobody, you know, if you're not, what am I trying to say? Um, and that's the reason a lot, of, a lot of Abrahamic religions and things like that are now kind of fading away and being like shifted, Okay, like I love, you know, reading the Bible and that kind of thing, but I have now my awareness of what was going on and my awareness that certain parts of it have disempowered so many people. So I need to feel and discern what, what what's right. Okay. Um, because you had these big officials saying, Hey, y'all are not allowed to read these sacred, you know, things. Come to me, I'll tell you what to do. Okay, and now I got all these people going and, and trusting these people. But then leaving more disempowered and, and people making you feel like you don't know what to do with your life. You're guilty of certain things. You can't do this. You can't do that. You don't know how to be yourself. You get what I'm saying? And so now there's, there's a need to find this divine balance within yourself so you can be in, empowered within, connected with yourself, and then 100% yourself, 100% calling. You get what I'm saying? Okay? So now I see why Spirit didn't want a full reading. They just want me to just 
just speak on this, okay, and what I'm feeling. So this is what's going on, y'all. Let me get a couple more cards, and then we'll, we'll do, because my hands are getting cold, okay, and um, my fingers aren't moving as fast, okay, and then we'll get an oracle card energy, but I hope this is helping, guys. Last energy spirit, okay, so we got the ace of wands coming in. Look at my, my fingers, I'm getting a little cold, okay. Um, new inspiration, new, new insight, new answers, new passion coming in, okay, um, which is so, so nice. As we are shedding and releasing old patterns and old limitations, okay? Old paradigms. Um, see, there's three more cards, Spirit. What do we have? Oh, yes! The world, okay? This is literally meaning this cycle is ending. The world is the last card of the deck, okay? Major, major finishing. Notice as well, these are the fixed signs. There's four fixed energies. Scorpio. And the highest octave of Scorpio is the ego, which is why you see an ego there, not a scorpion. Aquarius. Taurus. And Leo. Okay, the fixed energies all are, are all about putting in work and building something of worth, okay? So we are at this completion point at this time, this shifting energy. We have put in so much inner work, and we're wrapping up major, 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 major cycles, okay? Which is amazing. Two more cards for us, Spirit, what you got? Leaving, okay, five of pentacles, all this feeling of lack coming in, all this feeling of, what you know, what, what is nobody's here for me, all these feelings of, I'm left out, all these feelings of, um, you know, um, I don't feel the support, okay? Like, recently, I've been looking more into my Chiron. My Chiron is in my 12th house, okay? The hidden house, the spiritual house. And I was like, hmm, it's interesting that I have this wounded area. That's my wounding, okay? I'm like, why is it so wounded in that area, okay? But it's also spiritual as your connection to the spiritual and the collective, Okay, and growing up, I did not feel connected to anything, okay? No one around me, I didn't, didn't feel like we had an intimate connection. Um, I didn't feel connected to the spirit at all. My, I didn't have any trust in anything, okay? And so I always felt left out. I always felt like no one was watching me. I always felt like I wasn't protected, okay? So anytime I go, to, I get in a situation now where, you know, I feel similar. It, it triggers that, that past, you know, past life. I, I was thinking past life, so I guess past life. And my childhood memories... I instantly start feeling like, oh, no one's thinking about me. Oh, you know, I'm left out. Oh, spirit's not watching me at this time. And so all these things, you could be feeling certain similar things, okay? But that's not the truth, right? Um, and last, like a little, little smart coming down. Last card, spirit, what do you have for the collective before we get our oracle energy? Three cards came out, okay. Um, so what we're seeing is there's new inspiration coming in, guys. I'm just literally out here this in my head. There's new inspiration as we shed the old, but keep the strength, okay? There's there's things that have been weighing us the hell down, right? But I feel like we're starting to feel this energy if it's a weighty situation or if it's something freeing, okay? It's like, ooh, that, that thought made me feel so free, so light. Let me go in that direction. Ooh, when I think about this, I feel extremely heavy. So pay attention to that, okay? Um... Because that, that's what literally what we're doing now with this energy. These are heavy things. He's free. Okay, so we're, we're in this place now of spirit showing us heaviness and lightness. Okay, like new ideas, new, new you know, understandings, new, new beliefs. Okay, in, in regards to the old beliefs. Okay, like I've been in a situation where recently I have all these new dreams, all these new feelings, trust my intuition, but there's more resistance coming in, you know, are you sure about that? Or maybe you should do this, maybe you should do that, that kind of thing. And it's 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 caused um, a, a dissonance within me, okay, of like, a, mm, am I doing the right thing? Can I trust myself? But this has been a, a test, you get what I'm saying, it's that I've tried to have, you know, I'm having strength through, you get what I'm saying? I've been pushing through. Okay, it's an internal test, and it's also going to help to make us, uh, it, get us more into our innocent selves. Okay, notice, this isn't no strong man, you know, yielding this lion. This is a feminine energy, okay, and she's nurturing this lion, the strength of a lion, okay? So it's about your internal peace, your internal strength, your internal alignment that is the true strength, you get what I'm saying? Not, you know, me, well, that's what I feel, and, and don't come at, come at me for that. All that shows insecurity, Okay, I can listen and, and say, hmm, how's that feel for me? Ooh, that feels kind of heavy. That thought feels heavy, or that what they said just feel kind of heavy. Maybe that's more, you know, what they feel for themselves. I'm going to focus on what feel, feels light for me. You get what I'm saying? So that that's kind of what we're, where we're at now, my loves, okay? Last thing I want to get for you guys 
oracle energy so what advice do you have spirit going from you know into this week really you know we have if you check my weekly out there's a lot of energy coming in this week a lot of things shifting okay um and we're in this middle shifting phase right now spirit's asking you to see only love okay this says, look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. Okay? Boom. Now, something that, that's helped me a lot as well, this is the main reason I'm down here, is learning acceptance and tolerance. Okay? Before, you know, when something kind of threw me off, I just ran from it. Literally. That's why I was in New York. It was like, had major issues at home, family. And I just left. And, and then I had, you know, inner resentments, inner, you know, anger, inner feeling left out, inner things that I never really worked on. And I was just getting away from it. But what happens is when you try to run from spirit, you attract. I literally attracted everyone around me was basically my home environment. It's crazy. Okay. So now I'm, was four. It's inc the story is insane. Okay. But I had no choice coming down here. Let me just say that. Okay. And, well, we always, we always have a choice, but I was extremely led, and there was a lot of surprising situations that happened, okay? But I'll get into that when I get my video. It's coming very soon. I'm hearing two weeks. I might be able to share this with you guys. Um, and what happened is now I've been here, and I now have found peace because I was able to now witness everyone around, their energies, what they've gone through as well, who they are, and realize, oh, well, it was never about me. I'm fine. I'm chilling. It's just I just was placed in the situation. You get what I'm saying? And now I'm even I'm happy that 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 my childhood had happened the way it did. I'm happy I didn't feel that connected because now I had to connect with myself. I had to connect to other things that no one around me is connected to, like tarot, astrology, all those things helped me find myself. And if I was already connected to everybody around, I would not have gotten that. You get what I'm saying? And so this this is all the point. Okay, all the difficulties. You know, the, all the strengths you see in me, the communication, that was because no one listened to me, okay? So I had to develop my mind so that I could be listened to. That's what I thought, okay? Um, the perfect, the, I'm very perfectionist. A lot of the stuff I, I put out, I put a lot of focus into, okay? Astrology, I study very, very hard, okay? And I'm studying other things as well so that I can pass out other skills to you guys, okay? But my hard work ethic came from struggle and came from the, the critique that I got. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know, growing up, I was thought it was hell, okay? But now I'm realizing I was just being trained to be who I am now. You know what I'm saying? I need to be in that place to be who I am now, okay? Notice the bottom of the deck, focus on service, okay? I couldn't serve like I serve and how I'm going to serve if I didn't go through what I went through and what I'm currently going through. You know what I'm saying? And so now I, I understand that full purpose, okay? So it's about seeing the love. Now I can see the love. Now I can literally just be at peace and, and love people, that I once thought were my main abusers. You know what I'm saying? And now I can see the lessons and everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that wouldn't have happened without all the misunderstandings, all the surprise shifting and things and frustration that this year has brought me. Okay? But look at how peace... I'm chilling. I feel amazing. Okay? And I feel... I've never felt so connected to myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like nothing... And I know nothing... Mm -mm, ain't nothing about to break me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I might be frustrated. I might pop off. Yeah. But I'm going to continue seeing. I'm going to get back up and I'm going to keep doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? And that wouldn't have happened without all the misunderstandings that happened. Okay? So, that's that. That's a little peek into my testimony what's happened, been happening to me this year. Um, and it's almost done, my love. It's almost done. Okay? So, now let me get the last card out. What do you desire? Where do you want to go? Spirit's like, all right, now we're we're getting gaining awareness of all that's needing to be shed, gaining awareness of all that has occurred. Now where do you want it to go? Okay? So that's why I think we started with the daydream card. You know what I'm saying? And so this says, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Okay? I see 333. Well, 3333 in the video. This is the last card. Okay, Spirit's got a lot of messages for you. And I literally see, I don't know if you can see, I want to show you <laughs> the four birds flying there. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Oh, crap. I hope you can see it. It was beautiful. I don't know if you can see that, guys. Guys, but it was so, uh, and they were for, flying in that diamond formation. That was just so synchronous to me. I, like, felt the need to look, and it was that. Okay? And birds are messages and, and angels and divine guidance. So I'm just, like, lit. Okay? So let me, let me re-say this. This is a very important card. 
you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's your heart's truest desires. Okay, not these past beliefs that other people have been telling you that's keep you kept kept you feeling like this. It's now to get to this. Okay, from your true desires. Right. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them. Okay, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. All right, that's what I have, my loves. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I had to get a collective pool. I felt the need. Um, and I hope this brought clarity to you about, you know, the purpose of all that, what we're going through. Um, you know, I hope my story helped a little bit. So maybe you're going through something similar. Um, that's what I have, my loves. I, that's, I'm excited to share this with you guys. Um, I'm about to get inside and warm up my hands. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Again, if you want this for yourself, personal message, me to tap in and help you with how to use your energy. Okay, get in contact with me. The website is down, but you can email me. Okay, much love, guys. Talk to you later. Water bear.